Thank you very much for clicking this video. In this video, I will use HTML, CSS and JavaScript and create a counter project. So you can increase it or decrease it as well as you have the option for reset. So if you are interested, keep watching. So first of all, what I will do, I will create a folder here. You can place any name, no problem at all. I will write here counter. And then I will open this counter with my code editor VS Code. Now here I will create a HTML file. So I will write here index.html. Okay. And I will write here exclamatory sign and then I will press tab. By the way, I have a video about VS Code shortcut. If you are interested, you can check out. You will get the link in the video description. So now what I will do, I will save this. Also, I need here a style.css file as well as I need a JavaScript file so I can write a script .js. Okay, so you can see I have here three file and every one is blank. Now in the index.html file, I will include my CSS file. So in order to do that, I will write here link CSS. It will be style.css. And before closing the body tag, I will write here script.src and here I will write my scripts.js file. So if I do, in that case, you can see my all file is included with my index.html file. Now I will open the page using live server. It's a VS code extension. And if you're interested, you can install that. So if you want to install live server, you can click here. And then you can see here is a live server or you can search here live server. So if you do in that case, you will see here is live server extension. Just you need to install this. Okay. So if you have this live server, in that case, you will able to see your projects live. So I highly recommend you to do that, but it's not mandatory. Okay. So now what I will do, I will open this with my live server. And also I have a video about VS code customization. So if you're interested to know how to customize your VS code, you can also do no problem at all. So I will place this side by side so that you will able to see this properly. Okay. So you can see this is such like that. Now, firstly, I need to add a container. So I'll write here container and inside the container, I will take a class. It will be card body. Okay. And inside this card body, I need actually a title to show. So what I will do, I'll write here H1 ID title and here I will write firstly zero so if i save in that case you will see it's real time okay now inside the body i will write here another one and that will be card and then button and inside this card button i will place here three button so firstly i want that here should have a decrement button reset button as well as increment button so i will write here decrement i need a id also so i will write here id and my id can be decrement i will duplicate this three time and second one will be reset third one will be increment okay and here i'll write reset you can place any name i think it will be convenient if i uh, place the name properly what actually i want to do so you can see i have here three button decrement reset as well as increment and also the number so what i need i have everything on my html now i will open my styler css first of all i will reset everything so i'll write a star colon colon after then star colon colon before and here I will write margin 0 padding 0 okay and then now I will write here HTML and for this I will write height it will be 100% and also I can write here comma body for HTML and CSS the height should be 100% so that I can place this in center position okay now I want to add a background here for the body. So what I will do now, I will write here body. And for this body, I will write background. And here I will use a RGB color. So I'll write here RGB. And for the red version, I will write 255. And for green, I can write 132. And for the blue, I can write 100. So if I do, in that case, you can see this is the background. Also, I want to add a gradient here. So I'll add the gradient here. So you can see this is linear gradient and 90 degree RGB color this one and RGB color this one. Okay, so you can see this looks nice uh, background color. And by the way, you will get the source code in my video description. So if you need this source code, don't forget to check video description. Okay, and if you think this video is helpful, hit the like button. So you can see I have here a background color. So now what I will do, I will copy the class container and I will paste the class here, class container. And here I will write display, it will be uh, flex. And then I can write align items. It can be center. And also I will write uh, justify content, it needs to be center also. So if I do, in that case, you will see this is such like that. And also I need to add here a height, 
height can be 100 percent so if i do in that case you can see right now it's in center position okay now i will copy the class card body from here so what i will do i will come here and i will write card body and for this one i will write background it can be white okay i can write padding it can be 25 pixel and i can write border radius it can be 10 pixel okay so you can see here have a nice border radius and also i can write here text align center so that this text in center position okay so i think now it's great so now what i will do i will select the h1 you can see this h1 i want to select so i will copy the class card body and then h1 also i can uh, select the id for this title i can also do so for this actually i want to add a margin so i'll write here margin bottom 15 pixel and also i want to increase the font size so i'll write here font size 70 pixel so it will be nice looking big size now i want to style these buttons so if i want to style buttons in that case i will select the card btn and then button okay so class card btn and then bu button okay and for this what i will do i will add a color so i'll write here color it can be 262626 i can write padding and it can be 10 pixel and 35 pixel so you can see this looks something like that i don't want to see the border so i'll write here border zero okay and i will add a font size for uh, 15 pixel you can see font to it bold you can include any google font or anything but i don't want to do that i think it would be great if i do everything something like that i want to add some margin between these two button in that case what i will do i will write here margin it can be top and bottom zero and left and right five pixels so you will get 10 pixel uh, difference and also i can write here border radius so i will write border radius five pixel okay so you can see this looks something like that when i want to hover in that case my cursor needs to be changed to a button or link in that case i will write here cursor it can be pointer so if i do in that case you will see now my cursor is changing and also i want to add here some background effect in that case i will add here transition and it can be 0.5 seconds okay so you will able to see a small uh, nice looking transition here so everything is fine now i will actually add some uh, styling and for that actually i will copy the id name decrement first so i'll write here button id decrement and for this i want to add a background color this one so if i do in that case you can see here is a background color okay now i want to uh, add a hover effect here and this one needs to be the hover color so when i will hover in that case you can see it looks something like that i want that when i am hovering in that case this text needs to be changed so what i will do i will write here color it can be white okay so if i do in that case you can see it's actually changing so now i will duplicate this for three time and second one is reset so i can copy the id reset third one is increment so i will copy increment okay so every id and class copied and everyone looks same but i don't want to do that for the reset actually this will be the color and for the hover this will be the color okay and for the increment actually this will be the color and for the hover this will be the color so if i hover in that case you can see right now it's changed actually i copied some color from my uh, source so that it looks better if your design is good it will motivate you to work more so i highly recommend you to design your thing properly so now you can see everything looks nice now i want to add the functionality so when i will click decrement in that case it should go minus when i will click increment in that case it should increment uh, one by one and if i click reset in that case it should be zero this should be our function so in order to do that what i can do first of all i will add here a variable i need to select these three button first okay decrement reset as well as increment so what i will do i will write here const and then i can write actually btn button uh, decrement okay and here i will write document dot query selector so i will copy the id here okay i will duplicate this three time and second one will be reset third one will be increment i need to duplicate once more that should be select the title okay and it needs to be the first one something like that okay now i need to change the variable name so first one will be main 
title you can place your name no problem at all this one should be reset this one needs to be increment okay so you can say i selected all now what i will do i want to add a event listener that when i will click in that case it should do something so i will write here button increment dot add event listener firstly i will write here click so i will i want that when i will click in that case it should change its behavior and i will add a comma parenthesis okay now first of all i need a independent variable in that case i will write here const current value so i will write here car v a l e o e is equal to zero and here i can write if i click in that case current value uh, needs to be plus plus actually i want that current value is equal to current value plus one I want that okay so instead of that you can simply write here current value plus one you can also do that or you can simply write here current value plus plus okay so what is preferable to you you can do no problem at all and second thing is this is the ID so I'll write here main title dot text content okay is equal to current value by default my current value needs to be zero as you can see then I want that if I click this increment button by saying add event listener click in that case the current value should increase by one and then it should save this increment value to the main title here okay so now if I save this project and now if I click so you can see if I click this increment it's not working the reason because my variable is const so if you interested to change your variable consistently in that case you should use let so if I do right now, now if I click in that case, you can see it's working properly. Okay. Now I want to do the same thing when I will click the decrement in that case, it should decrement one. Okay. So I will duplicate the code once more and here I can write instead of button increment, I will copy the variable button decrement. Okay. And in that case, it should decrement. So I'll write here minus minus. Okay. And if I do, and if I save this in that case, now if I click decrement in that case, you can see it's going to minus. And now if I click this increment button in that case, it's working properly. Now I need to fix the reset button. So same, I will duplicate this once more. And here I will copy the variable button reset. And now I want that when I will click this reset button in that case, no matter what the value, it should be zero. So if you interested to do that in that case, you need to write here simply is equal to zero. Current value is equal to zero. So now I will save this. And now if I click increment, you can see it's working. Now if I click reset in that case, it's zero. Now, if I click decrement, no problem or no matter where I am, if I click reset in that case, it's zero. As you can see, creating a counter is not difficult and I believe you learned something new. What do you think about this video? Don't forget to let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and stay safe. I am Ali Hossain signing out.